Okay, I'm back again. This time showing you how to get rid of this weird malware. It's basically just a virus that destroys your computer called Internet Security 2010. Uh, the way I found out about this virus was basically I let someone borrow my computer and they brought it back messed up. When I pressed the power button, I got all types of warning that I had. Uh, you know, spyware and everything on my computer. And it was basically yet another one of those fake antivirus softwares that basically just download Trojans and other things, take control of your computer and mess it up. So I'm um, basically going to be showing you how to get rid of that. Um, the video is going to be kind of choppy because, you know, it's a long process. I only get to upload 10 minutes worth of video. Uh, so occasionally you'll see me skip scenes and skip over. Uh, but for now, this is probably going to be the longest scene. I'm just showing you the startup process and what it looks like if you are infected by the virus. Um, so here we go. When it first starts up, you'll notice a difference. And this is running on a uh, Windows XP computer, as you can see, obviously. So what it does is... Um, like I said, it takes over your computer. You're unable to start a task manager uh, no matter how hard you try. Um, it changes your wallpaper on your desktop and it disables you to do anything that you would normally be able to do on your computer. So here it is starting up. You heard that little weird beep. Uh, that's actually a little system warning uh, that's activated by the malware telling you that there's something wrong with your computer which you'll see in just a second I'll zoom in okay here we go here is the warning that it gives you security warning um, tells you that files are deleted on your machine uh, there's a virus it affects Windows 2000 uh, NT and EXP Windows Vista and 7 and this is just the beginning of the virus it doesn't allow you to see your desktop until you click the X in the upper right hand corner or you click OK I normally just click the X and it does drastically slow down your system it uses a lot of uh, processing power again I can't tell you how much uh, because the program has taken over my computer I'm not allowed to see the processes so um, you know obviously uh, like I said the computer is running extremely slow normally I will have Firefox open by now and be listening to Pandora on YouTube or something so let's see still loading uh, this is extremely slow like I said there it is changing my desktop background it was a nice skyscraper picture before but it went ahead and deleted that for some odd reason and because it's a nasty virus and here we go with one of the warnings um, click here to protect your computer from spyware that's part of the virus um, as you can see that circle X sort of like the typical shield windows warning um, doesn't look like it at all you can tell it would trick somebody who doesn't know much about uh, the windows operating system but I can definitely tell that that is a fake virus warning and also the uh, sort of shield looking thing right there that would normally uh, be seen in you know your security center uh, that is also fake. That is uh, part of the anti part of the fake antivirus. And if I can click on it without losing my camera here, you can see it. And the program is actually running right now. Internet Security 2010 performing a scan. It's saying it's found something. These are all completely fake. Um, basically, what this program is trying to do is to get you to give them money. Um, you know, for a program that's not actually real, uh, say your computer's infected, then it just run off with your uh, credit card number. And two, what it does is mess up your computer. Like I said, um, 
change your background, not allow you to do certain things on your computer, which would um, lead to the program being deleted. So now that you know what the program looks like, how it performs when your computer starts up, let me go ahead and show you how to get rid of it. Okay, skipping ahead here just a bit, um, I found a way to sort of get rid of it uh, by going to this website called bleepingcomputer.com. Uh, you can find this website uh, if you have the Internet Security 2010 problem by simply opening up your Firefox browser, uh, Google searching for Internet Security 2010, and it should be about the fifth or sixth one down. Uh, basically, it's a removal guide. It says remove Internet Security 2010. Um, uninstall guide, as you can see right here, at bleepingcomputer.com. And basically what I did was I pulled up this guide. Um, what the guide did was basically teach me how to remove the virus. Uh, basically shows you some screenshots of the virus, letting you uh, know that this is exactly what you have. Um, the first thing it had me do was to run this program called Archeo. And what it does is it provides the link directly for the program in the guide. And all you do is click that. Uh, you save the file. And basically, when you open up that file, it stops the fake antivirus from running. As you can see, there are no more fake antivirus icons on my desktop. Uh, what it also uh, allows you to do after it stops the antivirus from running is run a program called Malwarebytes. Uh, maybe you've already searched this, maybe tried to get it off your computer, you tried to run Malwarebytes, and the program wouldn't allow you to do it. It basically had a error message to say there was some code to or something. Um, it wouldn't allow you to run the program. What they have is a another version of the program, same program, but it just changes the name of the program to fool the internet, internet uh, security 2010 virus because it's already programmed to recognize malware bytes and delete a core component of it and prevent it from running. So, I've gone ahead, um, I've got malware bytes installed. Um, as you can see, I saved the alternate file to my um, downloads here. I just auto run it. Click run, and it should be all set. Okay, as you can see, the scan is completed. It took around an hour and 19 minutes. It found about 72 objects. Um, the only thing that popped up was this little menu, uh, little OK thing here. You just hit OK, and you want to hit Show Results. So. I'm just going through a lot of the results. Most of them are Trojans. Um, here's the adware. More Trojans. Fake alert. Um, there's some rogue stuff. Hijack. Hijack. Uh, just a bunch of bad stuff that I found. And the only thing I have to do is make sure that everything is selected on the, on the left hand side and basically hit remove selected. And what it's basically doing is quarantining, um, you know, all of these issues right here. So I don't know how that's going to, uh, how long it's going to take. It should finish up quickly here, hopefully. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is, um, after this stuff is removed, whoop. There we go again. For some reason, the thing, certain items could not be removed. Oh, I thought that was the antivirus 2010. Your computer needs to restart it. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And what I was about to say was that even when the scan finishes, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uninstall this current malware bytes program and I'm going to install it again and basically I'm doing that because the guide told me to do that because you know it can still be affected by some parts of that uh, 2010 antivirus since it does mess with the malware bytes program. So